On the 15th of July, we saw an attempted coup in Turkey, and which left a big impression, of course, on citizens in Turkey, but we also saw the aftermath of the coup, meaning the countermeasures that the government took in place in order to deal with the threat. And today we were discussing the general situation in Turkey, including those countermeasures, where we have concerns, but also highlighting that as this summer, not talking to one another is definitely not the way forward. We need to enter into a dialogue in order to address the joint issues where we have concerns, but also where we have good cooperation. On visa, we can be short and clear. There are 72 criteria, not just for Turkey, also for Ukraine, Georgia, Kosovo, other countries we are now discussing uh, for visa liberalization. The moment Turkey meets those 72 criteria, this parliament, by majority, is willing to give its visa free travel. Now we know that especially the anti-terrorism legislation is of great concern uh, to us where we see the Turkish government is applying it very broadly not just using it to really fight terrorists but also using it to silence opposition and journalists. This is where our concerns are. I hope in the coming months we can find a solution because in the end it's not that we want to punish Turkish people who want to come and travel here, but we're not going to lower our standards. I think uh, the Euro all parties, uh, all the groups in the European Parliament have been very clear. No one wants to lower the European standards. We're not going to say suddenly 71 out of 72 criteria is enough. 72 criteria are there. Turkey for the last three years have known these 72 criteria. It's up to them to meet them. But let it also be clear, we're not using this because we're anti-Turkey or we don't want to give visa liberalization to Turkey. No, the moment Turkey meets the criteria, a majority in this parliament will be in favor of lifting the requirements. But we have been, of course, in this accession process for already a couple of years. And while at the beginning we saw big improvements in Turkey when it comes to democratic reforms, we have to be honest, the last three years, we see Turkey more and more moving away from meeting European standards. This is of concern. This was already of concern before 15th of July. We still have exactly the same concerns today. So if Turkey wants to, as it says, really make headway in moving closer to the European Union, we must see changes in their policy. We must see changes when it comes to press freedom. We must see changes when it comes to taking up again the peace process with the Kurds, a big issue which is also very of much importance to this group. And in general, I think what we see now with these 10,000s of people arrested, it's very important that there will be due process, fair trials. This will be a very important test for Turkish democracy.